We have learned how to solve matrix equations. Now we're going to look at how to find a function given uh, clean data or given uh, data that fits a function exactly. For example, over here I've given some data, uh, both the input and the output. And how could we go about finding the exact function for this data that would fit this data? Uh, if you said graph the equation to begin with, that's probably a great start. So if we go to graph and um, take a look at that. From what we know from unit one, it appears that this is most likely a cubic. Um, we can verify that by coming over here and putting our first difference here. We could uh, say that's equal to that, subtract that one, then quickly fill that down. Well, it's definitely not linear. linear. Um, we could check our second difference and uh, come down here equals, find the difference in our first differences. Check this out, fill down. It is definitely not a um, quadratic because we have no constant second difference. Let's see if our third difference can verify what we learned in unit one equals this one minus that one. And as we hit fill down, it's confirmed to us that this is indeed a cubic. Well, if it is a cubic, it's going to follow the equation y equals ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d. Now, that's the equation that fits cubic. And you'll notice we've got four variables, a, b, c, and d. That is, those become the variables when we substitute in our points. Those four points indicate that we need four points to be able to determine this exact cubic. Well, it would be reasonable to choose four points that uh, would be easy to work with. So as we go here to, um, you'll notice this 0 0.6 is um, a, very, a very nice one to work with. Let's just highlight that. Um, we'll, we'll highlight it with yellow. And let's also pick this particular ordered pair and we'll highlight it with yellow. And this particular ordered pair we'll highlight with yellow. And we're going to need four, so let's come down and get one more here, one more ordered pair. And then what we will do is we will take each of these four ordered pairs, substitute the x and y values into this equation, this general form of our cubic, to come up with four equations in four unknowns. So as we do, using that first one, our 0 for x, we get 0 times a plus 0 times b plus 0 times c plus 1 times d, because notice if we substitute x or 0 in for x, it doesn't change the d, equals the y, which in this case is our point 6. So there's our first equation in our system of linear equations. Now we will substitute in the x value for 
uh, of 1 in for x. So putting a 1 in for x cubed, 1 cubed is 1. We get 1a plus 1 squared, which is 1b plus 1c plus the 1d equals, and our y value here is 2.7. Next, we're going to substitute in the 2 for the x. 2 cubed is 8, so we have 8a plus 2 squared is 4, so 4b plus 2c plus 1d equals, and this time our y is 3, and our last and fourth uh, equation we're going to substitute in the 3 for the x and the 3.3 for the y. So substituting 3 in for our x and x cubed we get 27a uh, plus whoops 27a plus uh, we want 9 that's x squared 9b plus 3c plus 1d equals, we've got 3.3. So now we've got um, four equations in four unknowns. That allows us to make a matrix. Let's strip off those coefficients. 0, 1, 8, 27. Let's strip off the next group. 0, 1, 4, 9, then we've got 0, 1, 2, 3, and all the coefficients of d are 1, and then we could say that we're going to um, surround that. There's our coefficient matrix. Our a, B, C, D. There's our variable matrix. We'll highlight it with a border. And then our, um, our answer matrix is going to be 0 0.6, 2.7, 3, and 3.3. And we'll highlight that with a border. Okay, as in past assignments, what we're going to do is we're going to take this and find the inverse of our coefficient matrix. Since it's a four by four, we know we're going to have a four by four for the inverse equals matrix inverse, whoops, matrix inverse double click this, select our array where our inverse is, and hold control, shift, enter. There is our inverse. Now to verify that that is our inverse, let's quickly multiply it by our original coefficient matrix equals matrix multiplication. We'll take, we will multiply the inverse comma to separate the arrays by the original control shift return since it's a you can see that we've got our main diagonal of one and all of our other values are zero or close enough to zero in scientific notation that it shouldn't make a difference. Now we've got to do the same thing to the other side. Well let's put our let's highlight this quickly or uh, border this. And we still have our A, B, C, and D here. And now we've got to do the same thing to the other side. So what we'll do is we'll say equals matrix multiplication. We want to multiply that side by the inverse, comma, and times our original uh, answer or constant matrix, control shift return. 
Okay, we know that the identity times a function does nothing. So all we have is a, b, c, and d here. And down here, we've got our point 3, our negative 1.8, our 3.6, and 0.6. So a is equal to 0.3, b is equal to negative 1.8, c is equal to 3.6 and d is equal to 0.6. So now into our original general form, we can substitute those values. We now have y equals 0.3a plus, actually minus, 1.8b plus 3.6c plus 0.6d. And there is our uh, equation. There's a couple of ways we can verify this. One would be to come up here and if that's our equation, say here's our check column. Check and in this column we put equals okay we said that that was going to be um, point 0.3 times uh, x which is here plus or minus uh, 1.8 times whoops we've got an error going on here that is uh, raised to the third and this one is times x raised to the second plus our 3.3.6 times x again this time to the first power so we'll just leave it plus and our last one was uh, point 0.6 for our D. Hit enter. Ah, it's a good sign that we got the same answer here. If I now drag and fill down here and we compare the check values with the original outputs, you can see that we do indeed have this um, correct equation for our exact data that comes from a cubic function.